Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. I am Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. So, where is Lilibet? When will we see Lilibet? Why are there no photographs of Lilibet? Do they have Lilibet? So let's start out with that. Do they have Lilibet? You know, it could be that they're just muzzled by the adoption process. You know, six months of silence, not really public stuff, just to let the mother heal. I, I don't know how much, I, how much stock I put in that, but we'll look at that too. Do they have little bit because nobody is seeing a little bit let's uh let's do two sides megan and harry and little bit let's just see where she is megan and harry and little bit megan and harry two spades little bit All right, do they have a little bit? Two spades. Split. Trinity working everything together. Uh, everybody working for the same purposes to transform this situation, to transform this split situation. 10, 13, four hearts to create a family. So they're working very hard to get their hands on a little bit. They don't have a little bit. What's over here with a little bit? Cut. Separated. Cut. Uh, cross is also a good separation card, conflict and separation, because uh, the cross, if you put the cross here, this separates, separates the two cards, the cards, it can, on either side. So here it's cut over the long term, far away, 16, 17, reacting to circumstances, cut, many people involved, and she's far away. She's not with them. She's still far away from them. Still far away. Uh, so looks like they're negotiating and conflict and separated 10, three diamonds. So they don't have little bit yet. That's why we're not seeing her. They just literally don't have little bit yet. Uh, a fun uh, idea. I heard that Kamala Harris emailed Meghan Markle to request to see photos of Lilibet. Did this happen? Do you know that? I mean, that's uh, that's my Ocasio-Cortez. Did you know that? That's my, that's my impression of Ocasio-Cortez. So, did Kamala Harris email Megan, which would be a great honor. She's very powerful. Megan, Megan has political aspirations. You know, when she's going to toss Harry to the side, oh, you prince piece of garbage, she's going to go into politics. Okay, and Harry's going to be a do-nothing. So, did Kamala Harris request to see photos of Lilibet? Uh, Megan and Kamala. And I, you know, if you pronounce her name wrong, apparently that's bigoted. How do you pronounce it? I mean, I know so many Kamalas. I mean, it's, you know, obviously I would be doing that on purpose. Uh, because I know so many. I don't know any other Kamalas. So if I pronounced her name wrong, I don't know what I can do. Uh, Megan and Kamala. Megan. Kamala. Look at that. Do we have Kamala Harris reaching out? Finger of God comes in from the outside. The ruler, she's very high in the political spectrum. She is, she's really the acting president, but she's officially vice president. I mean, because Sleepy Joe, he's, he's taking his nap right now. Uh, so 27, cross, 777. Seven, seven. They have an ongoing relationship. 
Okay, they, they, they have an ongoing relationship, and she did reach out to Megan. Uh, they have a very long-term relationship, so that's a very powerful contact for Megan. Uh, karmic relationship, they have an ongoing relationship. Uh, on Jacob's Ladder, karmic relationship, ongoing relationship, and they... They do stuff. They talk. They chat as things come up. 10, 15, four clubs, four clubs. So it's kind of, it's just a friendship. But they maintain a friendship. Two spades, six diamonds. Did, let's back up a little bit. Did Megan tell Kamala that she doesn't have Lilibet yet? Uh, or... Does Kamala know that Lilibet is a surrogate, is a surrogate baby? Does Kamala know that Lilibet is a surrogate baby? Because Megan is, even with whatever age you choose to uh, decide that Megan is, even if she's 39, she's, uh, you know, that's still a, considered a geriatric pre pregnancy. You're not really, 35 is kind of the limit. 30 is kind of the limit. And you... I, Okay, so the ladies are going to scream at me, but this has only come up in the last 50 years that ladies are wanting to have babies after 50. Why are they doing that? This is just weird. So does Kamala know um, that, that Lilibet is a surrogate? Does she know? <laughs> Interesting cards. What we have here, uh, it's a secret. Seven spades veil, it's a secret. No, uh, absolutely not. She's not telling anybody. Baby, uh, she would be just... She really wants to keep this hidden. She'd be very upset if people know. Everybody knows, Megan. Everybody knows. Let's add this up. Uh, so underneath, no, they're keeping it all a secret. Nobody knows. So 24, 34, 43, plus 7, 50. Interesting. So 48, Queen of Spades, King, Diamonds, Magi, manifesting. She's manifesting this baby. So she's not telling anybody. So woman, very sweet messages. So it's all just very light, very sweet. Roses is very light. Uh, oh, we had a baby, not going to give you any details, that's it. And we're not even showing you any pictures. Okay, so she's just keeping it really light, really, you know, uh, like candy, and she's keeping all of the details a secret. So Kamala does not know. In fact, it looks like they're not telling anybody. Uh, no, no one is knowing this. They're not telling anybody. Although it wouldn't be hard to figure out. I mean, even just looking at the situation, it, I would say it's very likely that Lilibet is a surrogate child. Even not knowing anything, you know, and you're not friends with Megan, maybe, and you're just kind of a casual observer. And, and people are figuring this out. And, and I think a very large portion of the population now believes that both Archie and Lilibet are born of surrogates. Uh, and they're not that interested. They're not like royal watchers or anything. Is Megan, are Megan and Harry planning to do a big splash, an exclusive magazine spread of here's Lilibet, you know, and make like millions of dollars and, you know, pictures of her with her belly before and after and all that nonsense. Are, are, they may, are they planning to do a big, exclusive magazine splash? Let's look at Lilibet and the magazines. And are they getting offers? Are, that's what I want to know. Are, are they, do they have offers on the table? Lilibet and the magazines. Do they have offers or people are like, yeah, you know, we've got better things to do. You know, the, the sewage pipe broke in, 
you know, on the beach, and we're going to cover that instead. Uh, so are, do they have big offers on the table? Lilibet and these magazines for a spread. Lilibet and the magazines. Oh. Ooh. Do they have big offers on the table to do an exclusive for Lilibet? Yep. Yes often means yes. Reacting very direct offers. Okay, very direct. The king is honest and direct and straightforward. King of hearts is just going to tell you, this is my offer. 13, 22, 27, cross, and they're just out there. They're, these offers are just out there. And they're not withdrawing these offers. These offers are, offers are out there. And that makes sense because there is a value to that. The question is how much value. I think there is sufficient interest that people would want to see, uh, you know, exclusive of Lilibet. But the question is they can pay them this much or they can pay them this much. You know, how much are they going to get paid? That, that interest is out there. And, and magazines have made clear offers. Okay, money, broken chalice, and ruler. They can't take this money yet. 10, 23, 6 clubs. They really want this money. I mean, if you're a Markle or a Harry Windsor child, you are going to uh, be monetized. Everything in that house is, is there to be monetized. So, But they just can't take it because they don't have a little bit yet. But yes, they want to do this. They want to do this. There's the money card right there. Cup overflowing and water into wine. 18, five diamonds. Uh... Interestingly, they're very emotional about this. They, yeah, these are the two most emotional cards, 10 hearts and 8 hearts. They really feel that showing Lilibet off in a nice, in a good light is going to be very good for their press. It's really going to push those good emotional buttons. Who doesn't love looking at babies? I, everybody loves looking at babies. Okay, so... That's really going to press the right button. So there are offers on the table. They're very direct and straightforward. They do want these offers, and they feel that it's really going to help them to, to, to make an emotional connection. And I think they're right. I think they're right. And by they, I mean Megan, because I think Megan makes all of the decisions. And it's all about control. And I think that's how it is kind of for narcissists. Are they using Lilibet and Archie as ransom? Are Harry and Meghan using Lilibet and Archie as ransom to get money out of the royals? So let's look at that. Because, I mean, we know they don't have Lilibet. They should have Archie at this point. I mean, for goodness sake. Harry needs to run if they don't have Archie. So they, they have Archie. They don't have Lilibet yet. So they didn't... Harry just was there for the Diana showing... Didn't bring Archie or Lilibet. I'm not surprised that Megan didn't come because she didn't want to get pelted with rotten eggs. Have you ever seen somebody get pelted with rotten eggs? I've seen this. I was in Vermont. I saw this. Uh, it's quite an experience. Uh, and one of the eggs was a hard-boiled egg, so it was like a big rock. Uh, anyway, I was quite young. I was like 11 when I saw that. So everything is fun when you're 11. Uh, so... Lilibet and the Royals, Lilibet and Archie and the Royals, are they using them as ransom to extort money? We're not going to show you Lilibet and Archie. We're not gonna, you're not going to see them. You're not going to touch them. You're not going to hold them. You're not going to smell their you know, little baby skin. Uh, you're not going to pick up pick them up and dandle them on your lap and, and they're not going to play with the Cambridge children until you give us money, money. It's all about the money. Uh, so are they doing this? Let's put Lilibet and Archie and the Royals. Are they using them as kind of an extortion? Lilibet and Archie. Because you can't actually say that. That would be indiscreet. Unless you're like in Mexico and you're part of a drug gang or something. And, you know, you you work with the police to kidnap foreigners. You know, you can't actually say it, like, directly. You have to be, like, 
you know, just suggest it. So are they using Lilibet and Archie as extortion, basically? Water into wine, mercury hand in hand. Communicating about transformation, 17 plus 6, 23, 6 clubs. These are not nefarious cards, hands in hand. These are, these are very red, very bright, very red cards, okay? Uh, communicating about things changing in front of all the people. So they're talking about Lilibet and Archie. They're talking about them, but they're not being like really direct or anything. The Royals. Sun reveals all. Heart. Okay, we just want to see the children, but separated. Two and two, four, ace of spades. Aces, three aces. Ace, ace, ace. Three aces. So, new, 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 and separated. So, they do want to see the child, the children. Uh, they're talking about how they want these things to change, and they want to do a presentation in front of all the people. Uh, snake and city, all the people again, all the people, all the people, and this adds five spades, blocked. So they're just really overcomplicating things. Uh, it's not overtly an extortion scheme, because that would be gauche. That would not be nice. Uh, so it's sort of, you know, on the surface, the cards are very red. The cards are red, so everything is kind of... We're dealing with you with an open hand. We're not playing all these silly games with you. The, uh, the snake is very crafty, very clever. The snake and the fox are the two most clever energies in the deck. So the female energies of the snake, female, the queens, are the most clever energies. The male energies are much more direct action. This is obviously a reflection of reality. So... So the offer is on the table, the royals want to see Archie and Lilibet, and they're talking about the best way to do it, and they're overcomplicating it to such a degree that it's just maddening. It's just maddening. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's ask, will, let's ask if the royals will see, will physically be in the presence of Lilibet and Archie within the next... Uh, let's see. It's it's July. Let's look at 2021. Will Archie and Lilibet be presented to the royal family, the queen, and all of them uh, this year? Will they physically be together in the same room this year, Lilibet and Archie? Okay, and that's not pre precluding a Zoom call. That's separate. Will they be in the same room this year? In 2021. Well, we have fives. Oh, lots of fives. Lots of people involved. Fives are changed. Five, are, five is in the middle. So we have three out of four fives showing. And probably something's going to add five. Ten, twenty-two, six diamonds in front of the people. So fence sitter reacting to the situation and trying to make decisions. Two or more options, several options, reacting. So they're looking over their options. They do want to present uh, Archie and Lilibet to the royal family, and they want to do it kind of really publicly. They, you know, it's going to be a big spectacle. Okay, woman in the middle, Megan, uh, keeping control step by step. The woman, she's just in control of everything. She wears the pants. She wears the overalls. She's, it's got buttons and zippers. She's got it all. Okay, this woman, she's got it all. Harry's got nothing. Uh, the family and manifesting with the family. So it's really all up to Megan. Megan, and, and you see there's three uh, face cards. So we've got people energies here. And here's another four, four face cards. Two queens, two kings. Lots of men, lots of women involved. Uh, so this just says that Megan is keeping control of everything. She is planning and manifesting it. Under here, they are talking about it, 
but she's really overcomplicating it. And what that says to me is she's trying to extract as much as she possibly can out of them, bef you know, promises before she shows them Archie and Lilibet, which is what I'm getting at. Is she using them as extortion? Not overtly. She's not overtly using them as extortion, but it's so overly complicated that what else are you going to call it, man? What are you, you going to call it? If you're not going to call it extortion, what are you going to call it? So uh, it's a very polite uh, form of extortion, and they're just not going to tell, they're not ever going to use the words extortion or point something like this uh, at you and say your money or your life, you know, nothing like that. They're just not going to call it that. Okay, so what do we have? They don't have Lilibet. Kamala Harris did contact Megan and ask to see photos. And Kamala and Megan have an ongoing friendship, you know, just a casual friendship. That's very important. That's going to come up later, dude. That's going to come up later. Does Kamala know that uh, Megan used a surrogate, even though Megan is probably 44 years old, which, I mean, tch, wake up. Uh, no, no one knows that Megan used a surrogate. She's denying all of it uh, to everyone. No one knows. So that even says to me that even though it's really obvious, even the royals are not being told, even probably within the family. Like, nobody knows. Do they have offers to do a big spread of Lilibet and make a big pile of sweaty money? Absolutely they do. And they really want to do it, and they feel that this is really a great move. Will they see the Royals this year? Well, there it is right there. I think, um, yeah, they're planning to show Lilibet and Archie to the Royals. And I think that's a great move for them. And they're not, they haven't done it. Uh, that's a great PR move. They haven't done it because they don't have Lilibet. So <laughs> how embarrassing would that be? So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. And I'll see you guys next time.